working in this thing one year. You know, that's that's what I do, bro. <laughs> prayer changes things. That's what they say, prayer changes. So I'm going to just keep on praying. But he is John Grant, Executive Director of the Celebration Bowl again, December 16th, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, 12 o'clock kickoff on ABC. John, thank you so much, and we look forward to talking to you in, uh, in a few weeks as we get ready thank for Thank you. Absolutely. See you then. All right. Thank you, man. Experience one of have one of the great experiences that are out there in uh, uh, in sports. No doubt about it. And w- the final thing, John, everybody's been asking me, like, "Hey, heard about that stadium? It's nice, but is Chick Fil A going to be open?" Absolutely, because the game is on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep those 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 who are Chick Fil A lovers will be able to get uh, get their sandwiches on Saturday. You know, certainly I, our our. QSR sponsor, Quick Service Restaurant sponsors McDonald's, and so we got to give a give a shout out Absolutely. to them for being a part of this of the Celebration Bowl, you know, from year one, and so really proud to have have them in as a partner, and certainly can't say enough thanks to all of our sponsors, but specifically also the Coca Cola Company for sponsoring the the uh, trophy tour uh, that has has allowed us to take the trophy around and make get let fans get up close and personal personal with it so thank you to those and all of those sponsors that support us and we appreciate the partnership also with the atlanta falcons who have been a committed partner uh with the celebration bowl as well and certainly rob to you i can't get off the phone without thanking you uh, for continuing to talk about it promote it and to educate fans on how how significant this bowl game is Absolutely. Just trying to do my part and trying to pray Bama State in this thing one year. You know, that's that's what I do, bro. <laughs> prayer changes things. That's what they say, prayer changes. So I'm going to just keep on praying. But he is John Grant, Executive Director of the Celebration Bowl again, December 16th, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, 12 o'clock kickoff on ABC. John, thank you so much, and we look forward to talking to you in, uh, in a few weeks as we get ready thank for Thank you. It. Absolutely. See you then. All right. Thank you, man. The HBCU experience lives here. The HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. We'll be right back. Dave, what are you doing? Just sending a gift to Dave2037. Who? Me in the future. I save a little money from every paycheck as a gift to Dave2037 so he can spend it on things like anti-gravity boots or a hologram Doberman. Something cool like that. I think Dave2037 deserves it. He worked hard. What are you getting Steve2037? I guess I was thinking Steve2037 would just fend for himself. Well, alright. But don't expect to be borrowing my anti-gravity boots. You want to have money in your future? You got to start saving now. Putting some money from every paycheck into a savings account or contributing to your 401k can make a big difference later. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free ideas and easy ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. That's feedthepig.org. Hey, let's just hope Steve2037 doesn't get his hands on a cold time machine because he is going to come back here and knock some sense into you. This message brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. HBCU sports fans, you finally have a voice. The HBCU experience lives here. This is the HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. This is the HBCU Report being heard via the Two Live Stews Radio Network at twolivestewsradio.com. Rob Calloway here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, however you may be listening. Don't forget, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at HBCU Report. And uh, coming up, 4.30 kickoff, we have the CIAA Football Championship, where the undefeated Virginia State Trojans, led by none other than our great friend Reggie Barlow, takes on uh, Fayetteville State University. The Broncos have been playing really good football this year, and so right now we are being joined by none other than Reggie Barlow, head football coach of those Trojans. Uh, First of all, Reggie, welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Rob. Not a problem, man. So, um, we talked right at the beginning of the season as uh, football season got underway. And, um, you know, we talked about last year and the uh, the outstanding year that you all had, uh, which included a, a huge victory the end of season against Tuskegee. Uh, but, you know, here we are. You know, your team is undefeated coming off of last week's 40-39 victory over Virginia Union. So just kind of uh, uh, take us through not only this victory, uh, last weekend, but just kind of take us through the, the season. Yeah, so we've been blessed to have a really good season. Uh, our assistant coaches have done an amazing job of preparing our guys. Uh, the players, the student-athletes, man, they have really bought into our DASH, acronym DASH, philosophy, and what we want our program to be about and how we want to approach every game. And they've done that 
uh, all year, all the way up until this last game against Virginia Union, where uh, we knew that they were a really good team, got tons of really good athletes, and uh, we knew it would be a 60-minute battle. And uh, those are our guys. You know, they stood in there and uh, competed the way you like them to compete and uh, just continue to make plays. And uh, when we were down 11 points, we still found a way uh, to fight back and to make it a game and then ultimately to be able to get the lead and win the game. Now, just overall, you talk about a 9-0 and season. Have you been surprised with the level of success that you guys have been able to achieve this season? Well, I won't say surprised. I mean, I, I felt like, um, you know, with, with us having Trent Cannon, who I think is probably the best um, offensive player at Division Two football, uh, having him come back and having Cook, who's our quarterback. Uh, you know, we lost a lot of guys uh, because their team last year was – a yeah, senior late in team, but um, we have enough pieces in place. Coach Sanders, our defensive coordinator, has done an amazing job of presenting our uh, 4 2 5 scheme to our student athletes, and uh, they've really took ownership of it and made it their own. And uh, they've gone out and played with great confidence uh, over this season, and, uh, you know, it's worked out for us. This is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway here with you on the line right now with Reggie Barlow, head football coach of the Virginia State University Trojans. The Trojans currently 9-0, and 7-0 in uh, CIAA action. Uh, take on the Fayetteville State Broncos, 4.30 kickoff from Salem Stadium for the CIAA Football Championship. Now, you mentioned Trick Cannon. You know, arguably the best running back in Division II. Um, after going for nearly 1,400 yards, I mean, this dude, I mean, I'm guessing that in this championship game, he's going to make it to this 1,400. Uh, what are your thoughts overall? I mean, you've had the opportunity of coaching some great running backs, including uh, guys like Isaiah Crowell when you were at Bama State. Uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, Trent Cannon? Well, Trent, um, he has it. I mean, one, he's just a great, great young man. Uh, he'll be graduating in December with his degree. Um, but he plays the game the right way. He practices hard. Uh, he finishes every run, but uh, when you when you compare him to uh, the guys that I've seen play uh, on the next level, I definitely think he has the ability uh, to play on the next level. You know, the NFL is uh, and it's about speed and it's about uh, obviously being able to take the the rigorous punishments of defense and stuff. And uh, and the league has gone to. You know, a lot of stuff with specialty back, so you don't have to be an every down back. So uh, the kid is 5'10". He's about 190-some pounds right now. Uh, I'm sure he'll be up over that by the time the season is over and he starts training. But just explosive. He can run for power, run inside, run outside, catch the ball well out of the backfield. He understands protections and will protect in the passing game. So uh, he's go to practice. Well, you know, um, this season, the, the NFL is, is getting uh, fully uh, exposed or uh, the NFL fan base is getting exposed to Tariq Cohen up there in Chicago, of course, uh, HBCU product having played for Coach uh, Rod Broadway at, at North Carolina a and So, um, you know, it, for me, you know, I've been looking around the landscape of the league and I see uh, a lot more HBCU players actually getting a shot. Um, so um, I could definitely see a guy like, like Trent Cannon uh, being able to get get that exposure, uh, but when you when you look at him and you look at some of these other players in the league, some of these younger players in the league uh, who are you know cu- currently dominating, um, who would you probably most compare him to? Well, uh, I guess I I don't watch it near as much NFL ball as I used to, but I can tell you this: he's not Adrian Peterson size, but he runs like Adrian Peterson. Hmm. He has a very aggressive. Uh, hard running uh, demeanor, and uh, that's how he finished runs. Uh, so that's who he put me in the mind of when when you're talking about running backs. Now he's not uh, he's not uh, that kid. I mean that guy's size, but that's uh, that's the demeanor that he runs with. Absolutely. Now uh, your opponent this weekend, Fayetteville State. Uh, comes into this game with a 6-4 overall record, of course. You know, when you get into games like this, records mean absolutely nothing. Uh, but when you look at this team on tape, what are some of the things that concern you the most uh, heading into this weekend's matchup? Well, one, um, they've a battle, battle-tested battle team. They've had some real uh, games where they've had to battle, and 
they found a way to win. Uh, they got a young quarterback who's really found himself, and uh, he's uh, playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, they, too, have a running back there that they believe in, and they believe that that kid, Steve, is just as good as Trent Cannon. The guy runs fast, and uh, they're huge up front offensive line. So uh, this will be a good uh, college game. Uh, both teams have really worked hard. I don't think neither one of us was picked uh, to, to be competing for the championship. So uh, we both have overcame a lot to be where we are. And uh, they're a well-coached team. Their guys done a good job with them. And I just imagine that they'll be out uh, with a lot of energy and effort, uh, obviously trying to get a victory. Now, last weekend, I uh, had the opportunity to make the trick down to Birmingham for a game that's, you know, very near and dear to all Hornets, uh, the Magic City Classic. I was up in the press box and just, you know, just – eavesdropping because that's what I do you know that's what makes my show great is that I eavesdrop and then come back and drop these nuggets on the people but um you know there were some folks there that, and of course they were talking about you because your name still has not left the lips of the Hornet faithful uh but they were saying that um that there was the possibility that that you had gone to the CIAA and um and, and were posed to overtake Winston-Salem State University because, of course, that had been the the, the uh, go-to team in the conference uh, going back to Cornell Maynard and, uh, you know, and the great things that he did up into uh, Kiannis Bullware. Uh, so what are your thoughts uh, on, on the people that are, like, rooting for you up there in the CIAA? Yeah, well, I, obviously I love our Alabama State people no matter where they are and who they are. Uh, that university was great to me, giving me an opportunity to play ball there and also to be a coach there. So, um, you know, I, I've always uh, loved that. And then people who support us and support, uh, although that I'm here at Virginia State, you know, I, I, I really commend those folks. And, um, and we try to live right. We try to do us right by the people. Uh, we always try to uh, earn our keep and uh, keep our name in a good place and, um, so we're appreciative of folks who think we can coach a little football, but um, we've we've had uh, some great student athletes here. Uh, our assistant coaches are amazing. Our offensive coordinator Mark Carney and Coach Sanders, our defensive coordinator, and then we got some young coaches that are just just doing a great job, man. Everybody's buying into it. You know, we 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 have a philosophy that we we want to live by. Everybody is doing that and living by it, and then. I don't know, Winston-Salem is a great school, great program, and I mean, it took everything we had to beat those guys. So uh, I imagine they'll come back even stronger next year, and it'll be another big challenge for us. Absolutely. Well, before I let you go, man, I just want to uh, let you know that, of course, you know I am one of your biggest supporters. Um, very proud of the job that you're doing. Uh, I know that the people at Sydney Lanier hate the day that you told them that you were going to be leaving to go to Virginia State. Uh, but I think this was the best move that you could have possibly made. Reggie, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it was an opportunity to come to a university that had great stability uh, in a leadership position with uh, Dr. Abdullah, who is an outstanding president. Uh, uh, Ms. Peggy Davis, the director of athletics, is uh, a person that runs a department and has uh, has had successful coaches under her. So uh, it was a good opportunity for me to uh, come over here. I had never really lived out this way or coached or anything out this way, but it's been a blessing. Um, the kids are amazing. And, you know, they allow you to coach here. So, uh, you know, just happy with where we are and what we're doing. Well, thank God they let you coach because guess what, brother? Board of Trustees knows nothing about coaching, and I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, I had to throw, throw a little shade there. But anyway, Reggie Barlow, head football coach of the Virginia State University Trojans in action, 430 kickoff, Salem Stadium versus the Fayetteville State Broncos. Reggie, uh, win, lose, or draw, man. Um, good luck. And, uh, of course, we will always be rooting you on. And uh, thank you again for, for joining us on the show. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. It's the HBCU Report with Bob Calloway. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jason Derulo. I love that music connects to people all over the country. But unfortunately, so does something else. Childhood hunger. 15 million kids struggle with hunger right here in America. And yet, every year, billions of pounds of surplus food in the U.S. go to waste instead of going to the children in need. Feeding America is working to change this. 
The Feeding America nationwide network of food banks rescues this surplus of food to help provide meals to families in virtually every community in the United States. 